Hey guys, here's my battle with Captain Zeph, which is actually a tournament battle. It's a mixed tournament on the Poker Ladder, and um, just I'm just going to say a few rules before the battle. Um, that is the rules that he's playing by in this mixed tournament. You can have no more than two OUs. You must have at least one NU and one UU. Those are the rules that we're following by in this battle. So I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, this is a battle with Captain Zeph, and um, this is a battle, a tournament battle um, for a mixed tourney on Poker Ladder. I'll actually probably give you more information about Poker Ladder at the end of the video. It's a pretty cool thing. So yeah, um, he leads with uh, Lopani, I lead with Claydol. He's gonna toxic me, and I'm just gonna set up to or stealth rocks. And toxic kind of blows for Claydol since it's kind of like a wall. And really, I went for the earth power just to get some damage on Lopani, but he switches out into a uh, Weezing, which kind of sucks because Weezing has levitate and my earth power doesn't do a whole lot. So I don't really know what I want to do, so I go out into Porygon 2 because I'm kind of fearing the Will-O-Wisp, and I just don't want to Will-O-Wisp anything important. So I go into Porygon 2, he goes for the Hidden Power, which doesn't do a whole lot. I don't even know what kind of Hidden Power that might have been. Uh, maybe Ice, because that's super effective. But I'll go for the Thunder Wave on the Weezing to get, you know, some you know, status on it, and that's going to make it go slower, and it actually helped a lot, because I got the Parahax the first turn. So, yeah, I'm just going to Ice Beam, because I know Weezing doesn't have the best special defense, and that's pretty much my best way to attack it. And he's going to Fire Blast me, and even though Porygon 2 is a physical wall, not a special wall, I mean, the HP EVs help against it, too, and Fire Blast doesn't end up doing a whole lot. I just go for the Discharge now, because I'm kind of thinking he might switch, and Discharge has a chance to Paralyze but um, he actually doesn't switch and just Fire Blast me again. And I know he's paralyzed, and he pro I know he has Pain Split, and but he's paralyzed. So eventually I'm going to get it to the point that he gets the para hacks when I need him to. So I feel pretty good about this matchup, um, so I'm just going to keep attacking him until he dies. Because I know eventually he'll probably get the para hacks. And if I ever get low enough, I can recover, which will heal me by a lot. So actually I recover this turn just to get my health back, and um, he somehow... You know, he goes for the Thunderbolt, which hits me, and he's not getting the Parahax, which is making me angry. So I'm just kind of waiting for him to get a Parahax, so I can finish him off with a 2 hit KO and with Ice Beam. So I'm just going to keep doing that. So I go for the Ice Beam here, and I end up, yeah, not getting the Parahax again. He Pain Splits, which sucks. And, yeah, Porygon 2 is down to about half, and I'm just going to keep going for the Ice Beam, because that's how I roll. So I go for the Ice Beam again here, and this time I end up getting a crit, actually, which sucks. I mean, it's hacks, but I was waiting for the Parahax anyway. I mean, I knew he probably wouldn't have been able to kill Porygon 2 with Weezing, so I was going to win that anyway, whether it's due to a Parahax or a crit. So eventually I just got the crit, and that's kind of cool. So he goes out in the low punny, and I don't. I think he's going to switch a Rue, so I decided to go out into Claydol to take whatever item he wants to throw at me, because I know Claydol's kind of worthless anyway, since it's already toxic. And he gives me a lag tail, which makes it go second. Um, I'm just going to keep Earth Powering it, I mean, just to get damage on low punny. I know Claydol is pretty much dead at this point anyway. I'm just letting it die, really. He's going to just return. He ends up getting a crit there, but it doesn't really matter. I just get a second Earth Power off in the low punny. I mean, it doesn't quite kill it, but now Claydol dies to the poison. So I'm going to go out into Metagross, pretty much because I don't think this low punny can do a whole lot to me. He's going to switch a Rue, hoping, I guess, that I don't I have a different item other than leftovers, but he ends up just giving me a free agility, which really sucks for him because, you know, giving your opponent a free agility probably isn't the best thing to do. So I have the agility, I just go for the earthquake that'll take down the low punny. So he goes out into Machamp, which is something I didn't want to see. I'm just going to go for the free Meteor Mash, since I know I'm faster, and I end up getting the attack boost, which is really haxy for me, and of course, you know, he's going to do what all Machamps do and dynamic punch me and get the confusion off. But now I have a choice. Do I want to switch or do I want to stay in and try to kill the Machamp? I know he's going to dynamic punch again, so I don't really have anything to take the confusion, so I decide just to risk it in Earthquake. And I end up hitting through the confusion and taking out the Machamp, and that is really nice for me. The Machamp goes down, and that's awesome. So now he decides to go out into Salad, a.k.a. his Salamence, and I don't want to stay in here risking uh, confusion, so I decided to switch out into Porygon 2 just to get the Intimidate off on the Salamence, and it's one of those mixed menses that you see you know, everywhere nowadays because he goes for the Fire Blast and he has the Life Orb, and that ends up doing quite a lot. So he Fire Blasts, and that hits Porygon 2 to red health, and he's, now he's going to finish me off with the Draco Meteor, which just isn't good for me, and that'll take down Porygon 2. 
So Porygon 2 goes down, and I'm going to go out into Gyarados, because that'll put the second Intimidate off on it, so now that Salamence is at minus 2 attack and minus 2 special attack, he pretty much has to switch and give me a free Dragon Dance. And he goes out into a cute little Politoed. Aww, I love Politoed. Too bad I have to kill it. Um, and I know he's probably going to do something gay, so I decide to taunt him. And he does try to go for the Toxic, which is nice, and it isn't one of those Hidden Power Electric Politoeds, so he doesn't have really anything to hurt Gyarados. I'm just going to just Stone Edge because it's a 2 hit KO after a Dragon Dance. And yeah, it's going to be a 2 hit KO. He's going to Surf me because it's the best thing he can do and it doesn't do anything because of the resistance, obviously. And I'm just going to 2 hit KO him now with Stone Edge. And I really have him in a bad spot with this Gyarados. Um, that's just not good for him. He goes out into a Regirock that might have had Stone Edge, but I end up going to get the flinch with the Waterfall. Man, I'm getting a lot of hacks. But to be honest, it really doesn't matter in the long run, um, because it just lets me kill the Regirock, and that's if Stone Edge would have killed me unboosted. Um, but I do get the flinch, as you can see. But yeah, that's going to allow me to kill the Regirock, but it doesn't really matter too much, I think, because I do have Miss Magius on this team, and he can outspeed both um, the Salamence and the Regirock and kill them both at this point because of the Stealth Rock damage. But yeah, all he has left is the Salamence, who's at a quarter of his health now, which obviously is in Miss Magius' killing range, but I'm just going to kill him with Gyarados the Stone Edge. So, rate, comment, subscribe, good game, Captain Zeph, and I guess I'll give you guys more info on the Poke Ladder now. Alright, 3, 2, 1, go. So as I mentioned in the video, this is a uh, tournament battle, a mixed tournament on the Poke Ladder. Um... So I'll just say a few words about that. It's actually was started by PK Sparks, another YouTuber that I'm quite fond of. And it's a really cool project um, to get to know other Pokemon battlers. It has a chat room, a forums, and it's kind of like a social network thing. And has tournaments, and I'm involved in this mixed tournament, um, which is kind of cool. So I'll leave the link in the description to it. It's actually a Ning, which is a social networking creation thing. But yeah, I'll leave the link over there. Um, check it out if you want to get you know plugged into a pretty awesome Pokemon community, and just something about that. So rate, comment, subscribe, guys, and see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, I've had a hard time thinking about question of the days recently, so today's question of the day is what should the next question of the day be? Leave a creative comment in the comment section. Yeah. So yeah, bye!